Everyone hear me all right? Oh, yeah. It's loud enough. I'm uh, excited about this message. Um, you know, it, it was one of those things, you know, I was, uh, I was praying about it for a couple of weeks, trying to, you know, wonder what I was going to speak about and what God was going to lay on my heart. And, and uh, it's interesting how, uh, how this came about, and I'll get into that in, in just a little bit. Uh, but uh, what tonight we're going to talk about is, uh, is uh, the title is Overwhelmed. Um, tonight we're going to talk about being overwhelmed, and if you're anything like me, the word overwhelmed is just, it always brings to mind the negative. Uh, something's against me. Uh, something's overtaking me. Uh, we never really think of like positive things, rarely, with the word overwhelmed. Um, it's usually always something negative. But uh, I'm going to hopefully change your perspective on that tonight, so uh, you know, when, you, when, when the word uh, overwhelmed, it, it when it creeps into your daily life, uh, you can re redirect it uh, to an overwhelming God. Hmm. So uh, to start tonight, we're going to jump around to a different uh, passage here and there. Uh, but tonight we're going to start in uh, Psalms 8, uh, verses 1 through 9. If you'll turn over there with me, please. Hopefully my sermon don't stick together. My wonderful daughter got uh, syrup on it this morning. <laughs> That was a task, getting all that off this afternoon. But uh, if you will, read with me uh, Psalms 8, verses 1 through 9. It says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all thy earth. For it has, who has set thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that the, thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with the glory and honor. Thou mayest him uh, to have dominion over the works of thy hands, thou hast Put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the pass of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Let's go to the Lord in prayer before we get started this morning. Uh, Lord, we thank you for this day. God, thank you for this opportunity that I, that I have to, to preach your word, God. Lord, I thank you for the message that you laid on my heart. God, I pray that you would just uh, use me in a mighty way as your instrument. Lord, I pray that you would uh, touch hearts tonight. Uh, help us to, uh, to see uh, an area in our life that, that needs to change, something that we need to, uh, to really uh, be accountable for, God. Lord, I pray that you would just uh, use me. I pray that uh, you put a guard in my lips, God. I wouldn't say anything that you want me to say. Lord, we know that your word does not return void. Lord, I pray that you would be lifted high and exalted. I thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do. Bless tonight. Uh, bless this message. And thank you for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So David, he's, uh, he's, he's talking in this passage. He's describing God's creation and, and just how excellent it is. You know, he speaks of, of the heavens and the stars and the moon uh, and the animals of the ground and, and, and all that is in the sea. But the thing that really drawed me uh, to this, uh, this passage was uh, verse 4. I'll read it again. It says, What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the sons of man that thou visitest him? What is man that thou art mindful of him? Now he pays close attention. To be mindful is to, to, to pay close attention, to watch carefully. You know, I'm, I'm sure uh, you, you've heard it many times uh, from people when they're going through a difficult time. They, they like to say, well, where, is, where was God? Where is God at? Where was God when, when, when this was happening, when this was going on? You know, my Bible says that, that he's near to the brokenhearted. Yeah. Uh, that he sticks closer than a brother. But my Bible also says in, in Psalms 1, uh, 145.18 that the Lord is nigh unto all of them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. So, so where is he when you're feeling overwhelmed? He's with you. But maybe, you know, just maybe, 
If you were overwhelmed each and every day by God, you wouldn't go through moments in this life where, where bills and, and, and schedules and, and family things and, and work and other different stresses that you may have, uh, they wouldn't overwhelm you. And you might say, wait a minute, like Lincoln, what are you, what are you talking about here? I mean, what are you trying to say here? Being overwhelmed by God? You know, about two weeks ago, um, I, was, uh, I was on my way to work in the morning, and uh, I was listening to music, and, uh, and a song came on, came on, and the name of the song was Overwhelmed. You know, it, it gave me the title for this message, so it's pretty covered, huh? <laughs> but uh, let me read you uh, a few lyrics from this song that really just, just grabbed a hold of me. It says, I see the work of your hands, galaxies spin in a heavenly dance. Oh God, all that you are is so overwhelming. I hear the sound of your voice. All at once, it's a gentle and thundering noise. Oh God, all that you are is so overwhelming. I delight myself in you, captivated by your beauty. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by you. And God, I run into your arms, unashamed because of mercy. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by you. I know the power of your cross, forgiven and free, forever you'll be my God. And all that you've done is so overwhelming. You know, I, I listened to that. And, and I listened to it again. And uh, by the time I knew it, I've like listened to it four times in a row. And I was just, just listening to that song and, and I was letting it resonate in me. And, and I was just like, wow. And, and the more I thought about it, the, the, the verse that, or the line that grabbed me was, all that you've done is so overwhelming. And I began to think about that. And I began to, uh, to, to, to look in the scriptures and, and, and really ponder um, in my own life as well, all that you've done. You sent your son to die on the cross for my sins. You, you defeated the grave your, your salvation that you offer us is it's free. All we have to do is accept it. You know, your grace, your mercy, it's right there for us each and every day. You know, you've promised that no matter what, no matter what we do, you're never going to leave us, never going to forsake us. Yes, amen. You've promised that you're returning to take us home with you to heaven. You know, and, and, and as I was writing these things down, I got thinking, I was like, I could go on and on and on. I could have pages and pages. And I was like, I'm just going to leave it here because that's just the tip of the iceberg. And that's just a taste. You know, that's just a taste of, of all that he's done. And the more I began to think about it, the more I was like, this is so overwhelming. All that God has done is just so overwhelming to me. If you will turn with me to, to Psalms 18, uh, verses 1 through 6. He reads, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and my shield, uh, the horn of my salvation in my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compass me, and the floods of the ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my, distress, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even unto his ears. Verses 28 to 33 in the same chapter says, For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all that trust in him. For who is God, save the Lord? Or who is a rock, save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and setteth my feet upon my high places. You know, David says, the Lord is my rock 
He's my fortress. He's my deliverer. You know, I, uh, I got thinking, I was like, you know, when, when, a, when a bad storm's uh, in, in the forecast, or, you know, when we're outside, we're doing something, and, and the, uh, the sky's starting to get black, and, and the clouds come up, you know, what, what do we do? We, we seek shelter. We, we get out of harm's way. My brother recently called me a few days ago. Um, I called him, and uh, I, he, he was talking, and it was echoing. I was like, where are you at? He's like, I'm in the bathroom. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I was like, you want me to call you back? And he's like, no, 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 I'm good. He's like, there's just a tornado in our neighborhood. I was like, oh, really? Okay. Uh, he's like, yeah, me and Sky and the dog, we're, we're all barricaded in the bathroom. I'm like, okay. And, uh, you know, they, they were seeking shelter. They were seek, seeking shelter from a storm. You know, this huge tornado that was overwhelming the area. You know, they, they went to the safest place that, that, that they could access. So why don't we do that all the time? We're so prone to immediately complain. We're so prone to, to, to seeking help from, from people who necessarily can't really help us. They might be able to say a kind word. They might be able to say, I'm here for you. But they can't really help us. You know, uh, we, 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 we like to say, you know, what am I going to do? I've probably said this a hundred times. How, how is this going to work out? What am I going to do about this? If you ask my wife, she's probably tired of hearing me say this. Uh, and and this, this is a part of this message that really kind of spoke to my heart. And I thought, I was like, you know what, wait a minute. Don't I have an excellent God? One that created everything. One who is mindful of me. He keeps a close eye on me. He watches me carefully. One who said he's never going to leave me. You know, I have an overwhelming God who can overwhelm any circumstance that I find myself in. Yes. You know, my Bible says that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hmm. You know, my God is an overwhelming God. If you will, turn with me to Matthew chapter 19, verses 26. It tells us this, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. I know you're feeling down right now. You might be uh, feeling beaten down with what's in front of you. You know, right now you may think that uh, you're never going to get through this. I feel like I've, I've been there. You think that this is a dead end somewhere in your life and, and you're at a wall that you just, you just can't get over. It just seems too high. It may look impossible. It may seem impossible. But Jesus always reminds us that I'm near. I'm with you. No, I'm mindful of you. After I read that in that verse, I kept on just thinking, thinking about the Lord says, I'm mindful of you. I, I, I still just can't get over that, that he, he, he cares so much that he watches us so closely. You know, I'm keeping a close watch over your life and, and with me, all things are possible. Yes. Without me, you, you know, it's not really going to work too well, no. but I can help you. He promises that. Turn with me to, to Matthew 11, verses 28. Tells us, it says, Come unto me, all that are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And the Lord says, I'm going to do the work. I just need you to walk with me. I need you to keep putting your faith in me. Keep putting your trust in me. And we're going to get through this. Now you may feel overwhelmed, but I'm an overwhelming God. In um, 1 John 4, 4, if you'll turn there with me. It's one of my favorite 
one of my favorite passages, and, and sometimes, you know, I really have to remind myself of this uh, uh, daily almost, you know, when, I, when I'm going through a struggle, and, and um, I'm just kind of, uh, I, need, I, need, I need God to, to, to pick me up, to, to wrap His arms around me. You know, it says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than he that is in the world. You know, my stress, he's greater. My problems, he's greater. My illness, he's greater. My finances, he's greater. My circumstances, he is greater. You know, if we could just get that through our heads sometimes and let it sink into our hearts and fully trust that we, we serve an overwhelming God. You know, one who, who has done so much for us. One who, who continues to do so much for us each and every day. You know, the Bible tells us in, in Lamentations that His compassions, they fail not and are new every morning. So my question to you tonight is how are you viewing God? You know, I, I've, I've come in contact with, with a lot of people that they put God in the box. You know, is, is, is your walk with Christ, you know, are you at a, a point where you kind of put it in the back of your mind just how awesome He is, how excellent He is, how overwhelming He is? You know, He tells us in Isaiah, Isaiah 43 too that, uh, that when we pass through the deep waters, He's like, I'm going to be with you. You know, are, are you allowing those waves to overwhelm you? Or are you telling those waves that you have an excellent God, one who is in control, a God who is mindful of you, that's watching you, and that you have a truly overwhelming God? Amen. You know, is, is all that God is, is it overwhelming to you? I had to ask myself that question um, Several nights in a row when um, I just couldn't sleep at night. And I was just laying there and I was just thinking and I was thinking about uh, this, the notes I've taken for this message. And, and it really started to convict me. To, I was like, you know what is, do I, do I really believe and do I really proclaim and do I really uh, understand just how awesome God is? Yeah. I was like, am I, am I giving him the credit that he deserves? Am I, am I lifting him up? Like he deserves. And I think that's why uh, the Lord put this message in my heart. Because he wanted to show me something first. He wanted to say, you know, you, you, want, you, want, to preach, you want to preach the word. You want to share the gospel with people. Do you know how overwhelming I am? Do you know how powerful I am? Do you know how much I'm in control and it really, really spoke to my heart this, this week as I was finally putting everything together. And I was, you know, I went to prayer and I was like, you know what? I don't believe as a follower I was giving God enough credit. I don't believe I was, I was really viewing Him as such an overwhelming God. Yeah. That, uh, you know, because I was running into circumstances in my own life where I, I was feeling like I had to do this and I had to do that. And, yeah. And I, I, was, I was putting more focus on me than I was God. Yeah. And it's really neat how, how the Lord will use something as simple and as easy as a song to make you realize something. Yeah. So I want to challenge you tonight. I want, to, I, want to, I want to get your minds thinking. You know, I want you to think after you leave here, when you, when you go to bed tonight, when you wake up the next morning, how overwhelming do you really believe God is? And I hope that, uh, that the message really spoke to your heart. I hope that it really gets you thinking. I hope it really puts a new perspective for you. So if we will, we will close the word of prayer. And I really hope, uh, hope you will take something away tonight. Amen. Dear Heavenly